Hi everybody, I am Perry Brill. Welcome back to another segment of Optical Awesomeness. Today we will be talking about stock lenses. We're gonna go through the myths, the truths, and how to price them and how to buy them. If you're buying big branded stock lenses, you are getting reamed. And we're all about profitability and entrepreneur. Today we're gonna expose all the myths, go through pricing, quality, and break it down the details of anti-reflective, the different indices. Check it out, enjoy. Buy an Edger, use stock lenses, and make moolah. There's a few ways to make more money in optical. One is providing stock lenses to your patients. You will lower your cost of goods, provide better service, and feel so good that you made the glasses yourself. Today, I'm going to be walking through the stock lens buying guide. I created this specifically for you. You're going to have a blast going through this. I'm going to reveal secrets about stock lenses, about surface lenses, about the quality of things, and you are going to feel energized to start edging, or if you are currently edging, to reevaluate your stock lens strategy to increase your profitability, and you're going to feel good doing so. So let's jump right into it. So this is the Stockland's Buying Guide. So don't be fooled by you know, any fancy marketing and illusion of premium quality for a premium price. Stock lenses is just a piece of plastic. You know, whether it has some big name on it or it's a house branded lens or fancy graphics and artwork, don't give in to any of that stuff. Remember, it's a piece of plastic. So uh, we're gonna get right into it. We're gonna start with the first lens material, and this will guide you through my philosophies of how you should be buying stock lenses today. All right, so plastic CR39 with premium anti-reflective. So the properties of uh, CR39 are they're scratch resistant, they're hydrophobic, and oleophobic. Um, most stock lens warehouses will provide a simple two-year warranty on the lenses, same as your um, laboratories would for scratches, defects, or, you know, most are pretty forgiving for those puppy marks as well. Great thing about stock lenses is they come in a very large range of powers. So, you know, if, if you have 150 sill, 2 sill, you don't need to worry about it because the stock lens will come in those powers. All right, so this video is focused on how to make money using stock lenses. So, Let's look at the price differences here, and we're gonna be comparing house branded lenses to monster brand lenses. Many of you probably know what a monster brand is. There's just a few of those companies out there in the great optical world we live and breathe in. All right, so line one here, you'll see the first uh, house brand lens we're gonna look at is $2.47, it comes in, uh, Great range of spherical powers of minus six to a plus four, and then cylinder up to a minus two. So for most RXs, I don't know, 80, 90%, you're really gonna be, be able to fulfill all the glasses in your end office lab, and it's gonna be pretty easy. Um, you might wanna note here that I like to focus only on high quality um, optical lenses for stock lenses, and the reason is, Patients need the best lenses. That's a given. And especially for stock lenses, the difference between the high and low quality is just like dollars or pennies. So go ahead and opt for the better lens. We'll get a little into that more in just a bit, but we focus just on high quality stock lenses. All right, we're gonna move into house brand number two here. You'll see it is $3.12 here. Uh, just a little more than house brand number one. Um, same uh, sewer powers, cylinder, and again, high quality. Uh, the difference between house brand number one and number two is probably just uh, the different supply house it came from. Uh, there's nothing inherently better about the coating, the hard coat, uh, the, the optics. It's all very similar quality. All right, now we're going to show a very big gap in pricing here, and it, this is crazy. It's astronomical uh, when you move into a monster branded lenses, how much these companies will charge you, and the reason they charge you as much is because they can. Uh, the same thing we do with our patients. We want to figure out at what kind of tipping point are our patients complaining and thinking, you know what, maybe this price is a little high and I'm going to be shopping uh, the place down the street. 
So we moved from um, about $3 a stock lens to <laughs> jumping up to uh, $26 uh, a stock lens here, and then 20, about $24 for uh, monster lens number two. I want you to know there is literally zero things different about the house branded lens and the big monster branded lens. I mean, absolutely nothing. The coatings and the stock lens are just as good or even better. They perform well. They're slick. They clean. Dust repels off of it. Oils, waters. It is a great lens. So don't be fooled by just because um, someone comes into your office and uh, they're a lens rep and they say, oh, our lenses are so fantastic and we make them in these pristine environments. Well, let me tell you, all the lenses are really made in, in very similar ways. So again, don't be fooled by the branding all right i want you to save your money okay do you like money you probably do so let's save it okay all right um the next thing here is you know don't buy stock lenses with low quality ar i said that before i'm going to say it again do not buy it and here's why the cost savings might just be a dollar or even less and you want your patients to have a great longevity to your lenses. If there's one thing that patients really uh, take away from your optical when they leave and wear their glasses for a long time, they do realize if the lenses hold up well or not. If they're crazing, if they're scratching, those types of uh, wear and tear items, they just get this bad, sour taste in their mouth and they think, you know what, maybe this optical lenses are not good quality. I think I'm gonna try somebody else. Uh, we do the same thing for shoes, for food, restaurants, um, you know, where we go to get our teeth clean. We have all these expectations and we want to live up to them. So um, just buy high quality stock lenses. Don't go cheap. <laughs> you won't miss the money. All right. So no cheap. We're going to write that here. No cheap. All right. All right. Good to hear. All right. So um, we looked at the big price difference between house branded lenses and these big brands. And I'm not sure if I'm missing something, but I feel like I just saved you and myself $20 by opting to use a house branded lens. And I'm gonna go ahead and do the math for you, what happens over a year when you go with my recommendation here. So let's say you order five pairs of stock lenses today from your favorite stock lens houses. There's so many of them, oh my gosh and they ship overnight, two-day air, whatever it might be, it's fabulous. So five pairs a week, and what that means is you would save $100 per week, and if you saved $100 per week, that would be almost $6,000 a year that you would save by using house-branded stock lenses. That savings is great, it's an awesome way to uh, pay off an edger that maybe took a loan on, financing it, or if you just want to bring in some really new great frame lines that you never thought you could afford because you didn't have the extra cash flow, well, you, now you have it because you just saved $6,000 per year. And to me, that is fabulous. And we're going to give this a big, big, big smiley face here because we are happy. Yes, we are. We did it. Yay. All righty. The next thing we're going to move on to is 167 index with premium anti-reflective. Yes, many of you probably use it for getting those lenses really thin for the high myopes, high hyperopes. Good for you, doing your jobs. So high index same, you know, has all the same properties, uh, scratch resistant, hydrophobic, all that good stuff to your warranties. Everything is the same as CR39 except the price. And the price raises for it a very good reason because it is a more expensive lens material um, to produce and because, yeah, lens manufacturers can charge that. Okay, so you'll see that we have a price of $7.35 for house brand number one here. Uh, sphere power goes way up, way up, minus 12 and up to plus six. So big, uh, nice range of powers. Again, we're gonna buy high quality lenses. House brand number two comes in at $8.64. 
And that this is just crazy. I can't even believe people, opticians, doctors, managers, whoever, I can't believe they would pay this crazy amount. I mean, look at this. Would someone seriously pay $44.85 for a pair of 167 high index plastic lenses? That's crazy. Don't do that. Don't do that. You literally have. The same options here, right here, and you can purchase it for a fraction of the cost, like a fourth of the cost. You should save the money. It's good. Money is good. All righty. So, um, you know, look at the big price difference. You know, I don't think I'm missing something. Maybe I am. Maybe I'm crazy. However, I think what you might be missing if you're buying these big branded lenses, you're missing 35 extra dollars in your pocket. I think that's what's going on. So, you know, just imagine again, we're going to take this five pair formula. Let's say you order five pairs of 167 stock lenses a day. You would save $185 per week, and that amounts to about $9,600 per year in savings just by opting to choose stock lenses. Um, so again, great way to pay off the edger, bring in frame lines, pay your opticians more go on a vacation, do whatever, maybe beers after work, whatever you, whatever you like. All right, so the same finance is really applied to um, materials like Trivix, polycarbonate, 160, 174, anything, everything you can think of. So again, I wanna reiterate how easy edging is. If you're new to it, it can be intimidating, you know, it's art, you see all this loud machinery, there's parts moving. It's easy, guys. You got this. You got this. Don't be, okay. We're going to get into kind of the three pillars of stock lenses and getting over, you know, this big monster brand mentality. So number one is don't be fooled. Do not be fooled by the fancy packaging, the marketing, the warranties, and the quality of the coatings or how great your lens wrap is. Um, you need to read between the lines. You need to take your other professional peers um, recommendations because us, you know, opticians and doctors, managers, we're in the, we're out in the field, we're in the businesses or we're operating, we're looking at statements and bills and we, we see these things come, come through. It's really important that you, um, have this positive mentality and you look past, uh, the marketing things. All right. Number two, don't be afraid to edge stock lenses in your practice. You know, I could teach a 10 year old gosh, they're so smart today, how to trace a frame, how to block it, uh, a lens, and then how to put a lens in the edger. You know, the rest of the details can really be learned over time. It's not very hard. Um, you know, it's like anything. It just takes a little practice. You're shown what to do, and then you have to, to go through the schooling of teaching yourself sometimes. Um, you're probably not taught how to edge stock lenses in optometry school, optician school. Uh, maybe you were, maybe you weren't. Or maybe your peers just have not taught you. Um, it's easy, guys. I'll tell you one thing, though. It is a bit messy. Wear an apron. I have my favorite apron. Yes, I do. It's got hamburgers all over it. And you'll be okay. You'll feel good about it. So don't be afraid. All right, number three here is don't worry about having waste material if you accidentally screw up a lens. It is devastating, and I kind of cry in my heart and my eyes. Sometimes when I screw up a, you know, expensive progressive lens on the edger, because I'm like, oh, that was a lot of cash that I just ate or uh, burned or, you know, chipped off in the edger. So don't feel bad. Stock lenses are inexpensive. You know, you're, you're going to make errors. Things are going to happen. There's going to be flukes with the software. So just throw that lens in the trash and move on. All right. So don't worry. You have saved so much money deciding to have an in-office lab and you can afford to have these stupid occasional mistakes. Yes, yes, yes. You're going to have mistakes, but remember, we're going to have one of these smiley, happy faces because we're happy to be edging lenses, happy to be saving money, giving our patients better service, and you are engaging in the art and the craft of making glasses again. 
Um, I want you to remind you to tune in to Entrepreneur, the podcast for Wizards of Eyes Weekly. Uh, we talk to some really, really cutting edge people, uh, businesses that are thinking like five, 10 years down the line. You're going to feel hyped, pumped, uh, ready to make some actionable items in your practice or optical. And we're non biased, we're independent, and we actually give you relevant information. Uh, I want to remind you to go ahead and head over to our YouTube channel. And I want you to go ahead and subscribe as well. Go ahead and subscribe as well. Uh, make sure to hit that subscribe uh, notification button too. That'll ding you on your phone or your desktop that we released a new video. Some of our videos are going to be videos of the podcast. Others are going to be sweet hidden tips like this that you can get you going in the right direction. If you have a kick butt practice, make it even more baller. Alrighty, go ahead, YouTube, subscribe, hit the notification button. Thank you, Edge Stock Lenses, and follow my Stock Lens Buying Guide. See ya.